this is the envelope that goes with my baby card. You have two decorative pieces, and this is the flap for the top of the envelope with two score lines. I've just folded down on both score lines. And then the main piece, of course. Now, with the main piece, just a little tiny explanation, you're going to see a little circle that cuts out with the same piece. Just ignore that circle. It's only there for positioning of the piece. My craft mat is the same size. It's 12 by 12, just like a Cricut mat. And the maximum size for my piece is 11 and a half by 11 and a half on a Cricut mat. So it, this piece would not fit on a Cricut mat unless I rotate it. So I rotated it so that it fit within 11 and a half by 11 and a half. When I send it to cut, it automatically goes to a 12 by 24 mat, which I didn't want. I wanted it to stay on a 12 by 12 mat. So by putting a little circle and attaching the circle to my piece, it actually keeps my piece in position. So it sends a message to my Cricut that yes, this will fit on a 12 by 12 mat. It's just a little trick so that you don't have to either reduce the size of your cut piece or use a larger mat. There are two sets of score line because we wanted a dimensional envelope. The card has a tiny bit of dimension to it and I wanted to be sure that it fit nicely in this envelope. So I've just folded and burnished all my score lines. So this is the bottom of my envelope and these are the two side panels. I'm going to decorate the top flap first just by gluing down those two pieces. I'm opening the flaps just to make it a little bit easier to see my score lines. Now I've got a score line here and a score line up here and I want to glue down this piece. You have two score lines that will give you room for the thickness of the card and then you have this flap. You just want to put glue along that flap. I'm going to flip my envelope so the right side is facing upwards and the flap of my envelope is facing upwards as well. And I'm just going to match that score line on this piece with the edge of my flap. I'm going to do that on both sides, making sure that the cut line of the top of my envelope is right along the score line of my flap. So I'm going to put my side flaps in first, my bottom flap next. And you see how the bottom flaps have a tendency to want to collapse inwards. So what I do is I grab a paper pack that's about the same thickness of my card, inserting it along the score line on the side, and then I'm bringing my bottom up just to make sure that this is a nice 90 degree angle. I'm putting glue all along this edge and from the corner along the diagonal line like that of my side piece. So I wanna make a nice right angle seam right there and then I'm going to do that for the other side as well. I'm just putting my flap under, positioning my paper pack so that corner is a nice right angle. Put glue along the cut line of my side piece and along that little corner. And as you're gluing it down, make sure that your corner is still nice and square. And so there we have it, the envelope for the baby card. I'm just going to put my baby card inside. 